Greetings, greetings, all everybody in family. In this evening's quick video, I'm going to be bringing you guys along with us as we show you guys how we go about potting several black mulberry tree cuttings that we've been propagating in water over the past uh, month or so. Now, I won't um, lie to any of you guys and put you guys under the, under the impression that propagating mulberry trees in water is a quick and um, it's a simple thing, but it's not a very uh, quick thing at all. Typically, it takes mulberry trees to properly, uh, proper, uh, successfully propagate in water 30 to 45 days. Um, and it has a lot to do with um, successfully uh, propagating these cuttings. has a lot to do with selecting the right cuttings to begin with um, and um, taking those cuttings at the right point on the um, branch and then um, preparing those cuttings before you propagate those cuttings. But as always, as I tell you guys in all of my videos, and no um, exception when it comes to propagating mulberry tree cuttings, we do the exact same thing. When it comes to propagating fruit tree cuttings, flower cuttings, uh, any type of tree cuttings uh, in water, rose cuttings, etc., 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 the amount of water that you have in your container matters. I told you guys this over, um, over and over again, several, several, several times. Um, the amount of water that you have in your container matters because the more water pressure there is in your container, the harder it will be. I'm not saying that it will be impossible for your cutting to um, sprout roots, but the more it'll be a lot harder for your cutting to sprout roots in a container that's full of water than it will for your cutting to sprout roots in a container that has a very little bit of water. Again, we've been um, in the process of propagating these black mulberry tree cuttings here for about the past 36, 37 days now. I'm gonna pick this, uh, bring you guys up to this container and show you guys what's going on in this container. First of all, before I show you the roots on these containers, I'm gonna just uh, hang my camera over the side of this container. And you, can, you guys can see that water ring in the bottom of this container. That water ring is the mark. That, that shows you guys that at no point during this propagation process have I, have I had the water level higher than about an inch and a half, maybe two inches at the most during the entire propagation process. Again, I've done that because I've found with uh, regards to what type of cuttings I'm propagating, it doesn't matter, water pressure matters. And you'll get a, have um, a lot more success using a tiny bit of water in your container than you will have using a container full of water with high water pressure in your container. Now here in this container, I have a total of about six black mulberry tree cuttings as you guys can see i prepared these cuttings by removing all of the knees from these uh, and all of the um foliage from these cuttings from the uh, bottom to the top only left about half of a half a leaf at the top of each one of these cuttings you guys can see those original half cut leaves that were on the top of these cuttings with the uh, exception of this, of this one cutting which actually sprouted um new growth at the top of here as you guys can see over the last i think 37 38 days something like that right there uh, this cutting here has that same one half leaf. It's beginning to sprout out as you guys can see. Same thing with, with all of our cuttings. Again, we have a total of about six cuttings in this container. I'm going to reach over in this container. I'm going to pull these cuttings out. I'm going to show you guys again that water level. You see, see that water ring in there. At no point when doing the process, uh, propagation process, process as we uh, had our water level higher than about what you see down there in that container with that um, water mark here. I'm going to grab all six of these cuttings. I'm going to raise these cuttings up out of this container and show you guys the tremendous root systems that these tiny little thin skinny mulberry tree cuttings that I took again about 35, 36, 7, 8 days ago have uh, grown in approximately the past, you know, 35, 36, 7, 8 days. Take a look at this, guys. Bam! Can you guys see? all of the roots on all of these cuttings not just one single cutting all of the cuttings that we've had in this container again you guys can see that water level down there about one inch and a half to maybe two inches um, of water at the most during the prop propagation process and as you guys can see all of these cuttings, all of these cuttings are fully rooted and have grown extensive root systems for us here we're gonna take these six cuttings, we're gonna pot these six cuttings here in these um, small four inch containers. All of you guys have seen us and gas have seen us uh, pot uh, plants before, so we wanna bo bore you guys and show you guys how we actually go about sticking these uh, plants in. These. Everybody knows how, knows how to pot plants uh, by now at this point if you're um, growing anything anywhere. We know, how, we know how we go about um, potting these plants, but what I will show you guys uh, here 
and I will bring you guys back and show you what these uh, mulberry tree cutters look like in their new containers. But what I will show you guys here before I begin to uh, pot these uh, mulberry tree cuttings is the grow mixture that I'm going to be using to grow these mulberry trees, uh, these rooted mulberry trees in. Here we have a very, very, very sandy, rough looking, piss poor looking mixture of soil here. And that's because we have approximately 70% beet sand. And we have about 30% miracle Grow moisture control potting soil in this mixture. Now we have a very sandy mixture <clears throat> that we're gonna be growing our mulberry tree cuttings in because we know that mulberry trees are like a very, very, very sandy, loamy, well-draining um, soil <coughs> uh, grow mixture to grow in. And we grow all of our mulberry trees out here in our front yard where the soil is just dirt piss poor out here in our front yard and our backyard or that hill back there where the soil is also very, very, very poor. So again, a very, very, very poor mixture of sand, fertile, but a very, very poor looking mixture of sand, of uh, uh, soil here, again, consisting of about 70% beach sand that we purchased and about 30% miracle Grow moisture control potting soil. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and get my camera set up on this tripod. And I'm gonna actually break away here at this point of this video. I'll bring you guys back in about five minutes and show you guys exactly what our mulberry trees look like potted up in these four inch containers that we have here on our table here. Hang tight. All right, Green Thumb Gardening family, we're back. And before we lose all daylight here at the Green Thumb Gardening Channel right here in Grozo, AP and Kipton, Georgia, this green thumb garden family, this is what our five black uh, propagated black mulberry tree cuttings are currently looking like in their four inch containers. Take a look at this. Bam! Don't they look fantastic in those containers? As always, you guys know when we uh, pot up propagated um, fruit tree cuttings, flower cuttings, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We never pour water in our containers after we um, pot up our rooted cuttings. We always start with moist soil, and once we pot up, get our cuttings uh, properly potted up, we come back with our spray bottle. We just mist the soil lightly across the top, but we're going to do that for the next four to five days until these um, mulberry trees get established in the soil. And once they get established in the soil, we will indeed give them a, a, a wick watering from below in this container. Here we just actually pour water over this container and allow these containers to uh, soak up water from uh, below. After that, we'll set our container somewhere in a mostly shaded area for about another week before we harden them off to uh, full sun. At any rate, potting, propagated black mulberry tree cones at around day 38. Right at the Green Thumb Garden Shop. Grow Zone 8B in Tilton, Georgia. Thanks for watching.